Hi, so this is going to be a short tutorial running through how to make use of the Ubuntu Download Manager and integrate it with your own projects. So I'll start off by just creating a simple QML app from one of the basic templates. Uh, let's call it Download Demo and uh, select my device. So at this point, this is just all the standard project setup stuff, running CMake on things, uh, getting everything ready to go. Right. And we should then have one of the template apps, basically. So if we run this, uh, we will just get a very simple application that has a button and a label. When you press the button, it changes the label. Nothing too exciting and not doing anything with Download Manager yet. So let's fix that. First off, we want to import the Ubuntu Download Manager. And we're using version 1.2, which is the latest version available as of this video. And we will create ourselves a single download component uh, and just call it single download. And that's what will actually do the downloading for us. Now, uh, what we could actually do is also add in a progress bar. Uh, so let's set the width of that to be the parent width and give it a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 100. And then we can connect up its value to the single download's progress. So as the single download takes place, the progress bar will fill up. Now, we also want to actually start the download and download something. So let's change this button so that when it's clicked, instead of changing that label, we can start our download. And we do that by calling the download method on our single download. So let's give it a URL. And let's give that a go, see if it works. So we've got our progress indicator here, and if I tap the button, it downloads our file for us. Which is all very nice, except usually when we download a file, we actually want to do something with it afterwards. So what we can do is listen for the uh, finished signal, connect to the unfinished handler in the single download, and that will provide us with a path. Uh, so let's use that to change the labels text to be got file and then the path. So let's give that a go. So this time it downloads and when it's finished it tells us where it's actually downloaded it to. Um, one thing you might notice there is that it's actually appended uh, the number seven in brackets to that download. Uh, download manager will actually automatically add a number and increment it every time you download a file and there's already a file with that name there. So now we go up to eight, download it again, it'll go up to nine. So you don't have to worry about overwriting existing files or anything. It will automatically handle all of that for you. Um, since we've actually, since we're downloading an image, how about if we actually display that image once it's finished? So we'll create an image element give it the width of the parent and set its height to be its width so it's just square. Um, yeah, and then once it's finished, we set that image's source to be the download path. So this time when we run it, download the file and once it's done, it displays the image for us, which is quite nice. And you get to see a picture of my home. Um, so yes, there, there are some other little things that we can do as well. Uh, we can integrate with the system transfer indicator, which is quite nice. Uh, that will allow users to see your downloads even when they're not in your app. So let's, uh, let's do that. You basically just have to set some metadata on the single download. So you create a metadata component, which has a few different properties. Uh, we're only going to use two of those. One is the show in indicator property, which we will set to true, and the title, which we will call uh, Mike's boat. 
So let's give that a run. That one I will actually have to show you on a real device because the transfer indicator only runs in Unity 8 and I'm running Unity 7 on my desktop here. So let's set that going and I will switch over to a video of the phone. So here we have the app again. And if I tap the button, you'll see the transfer indicator appears at the top and we can see its progress. We can actually leave the app, the transfer indicator will keep going. Once it's finished, it will show up in the successful transfers there and we can actually click on that and it will take us back to the app. And yeah, you can see the image and everything has been received by the app perfectly happily, even though the app was in the background at the time. So that's, that's all the basics of downloading a single file with Download Manager, plus a few extra bits. Um, if you like this tutorial, let me know. I'll try and do a few more, uh, covering some more Download Manager features. Uh, I might also do some on the Content Hub as well. Uh, or if there's any other topics you're particularly interested in, let me know and I'll give those a go. And yeah, thanks for listening. Hope you found it useful. Bye.